Uh, today we're talking about the difference between retaliation and defending yourself. Um, a lot of times, uh, for some reason, I don't understand why, but a lot of times people get the two mixed up and confused. So I'm going to give you an example, or a couple of examples. Uh, we'll start with defending yourself. So defending yourself, if somebody comes up to you, tries to hit you in your head, put your hands up, you block, or you get out the way, you're defending yourself. You stop them from doing something bad to you. If you're retaliating, same scenario, somebody comes up, actually hits you upside the head, they run away, you chase them down the street or wherever they go, and you beat them up. That's retaliation. Similar scenarios, two completely different potential outcomes. Um, retaliation can potentially get you in a situation where you hurt someone, uh, where you know now you're looking at charges being pressed, and then you have to you're stuck in a situation where you have to kind of wait, wait a minute, even if that person slapped me, was it worth me potentially going to jail, getting sued, whatever happens. There's a, there's, there's a lot of consequences for, for, for things like that nowadays. Um, but anyway, two different outcomes. Um, but bottom line is the way that you don't get stuck in a situation where you have to determine which one, you know, if, if you're defending yourself or if you're retaliating, the way that you do that is you have to be aware of your circumstances. You have to always observe situational awareness. You have to see things before they actually happen. You have to make sure that you're not in a situation where you have to make a decision. I, and I'm not trying to press, I'm not trying to pass judgment. I mean, sometimes some people need to get a whooping, but you know, that's on you. But there are consequences to giving some people a whooping. And you need to understand and 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 adjust your behavior accordingly. Um, but like I said, the best way to not be put in a situation like that is to look at scenarios, not to put yourself in situations and scenarios that might potentially be a problem. Pay attention. Just pay attention. See what's going on. Same scenario that I started with, you know, you know, some you know, you might know that person, you might know they have a problem with you. Instead of just waiting there for them to come, you say, hey, let me get up and get out of here so I don't even have to be in a situation where anything could potentially bad happen to myself and to the person for that matter. So situational awareness, paying attention, that is the best way to make sure that you're not in a situation where you have to choose between either defending yourself physically or retaliation. So there you have it.